so uncivilized. Hey guys, how are you all doing today? So in recent events, Disney has now removed all blasters in the upcoming movie posters for Solo. Makes me wonder if it were episode nine coming out, would they remove blasters from that poster as well? So the reason behind this is a bit unclear, but it can be assumed because of the media uproar about guns following the Stoneman Douglas High School shooting in Parkland, Florida last month, is what this is all about. Now, shootings are tragic, and not to make this video political because I know that's the last thing people come here to enjoy, but as a channel that covers every single aspect of Star Wars, from my made-up fan fictions to novels, comics, and news, this falls in that bubble. So of course, as you can imagine, many fans have taken to Twitter and other social media outlets to show their anger at this decision, saying things like, I wish it would be as easy to solve all the problems we face because of the violence as it was to edit out the guns in these Han Solo posters. Another tweet says, Disney erased the blasters from Han Solo posters. We are dangerously close to an E.T. style Guns to Walkie Talkies re-release here, folks. And then West Virginia Topics tweets, Latest Han Solo posters lose the guns. A series of new Solo International posters come in both gun and no gun versions that are sure to please everyone and no one at the same time. So. While Disney hasn't made any comment about this decision publicly, it can be assumed that this is because of the more recent shootings, hoping to please those who think gun culture in American movies increase murder. But gun culture in America has always been around. Now in my opinion, because I don't want to just stay neutral for views or popularity, rather I always want to be real. I think if someone is going to do something as horrible as shoot up a school, or anywhere, they won't get the idea from Han Solo holding a blaster in a poster. This falls in line with Disney's agenda in Episode 8 with Canto Bite, I think, and it seems to be a trend. It showed the animal slavery and brutality for over 30 minutes, then told us they didn't have time to include Snoke's backstory or more bits of Luke, and what he's been up to. Now, I'm wondering what this means for the future of Star Wars under Disney's control. If they'll continue to remove all weapons from Star Wars posters in the future. So that means lightsabers, no blasters, no shooting TIE fighters, and have a disclaimer for anyone who goes to see the film that there are guns and violence in this movie. I guess we'll find out, guys. So let me know. Star Wars belongs to us, the fans, and I think our voices are much more valuable than the decision makers at Disney, who without our money, wouldn't be making Star Wars movies. Anyways, thank you for watching this quick news update. I will see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you always.